And I hope you guys are ready for some reflection and reflections. So we're going to find the coordinates by reflecting. OK, so we've got a point 3, negative 3, negative 6, which is labeled W here. And we want to reflect it over the x axis. OK, so that means that there's some sort of there's a mirror here. and We want to reflect right over the x axis. So you can kind of see if we drew it perfectly, we'd get to negative 3, 6. So what's the moral here, right? The moral here is that when you reflect across the x-axis, all you have to do is flip the y. You leave the x, you flip the y. It's all in the picture, right? So I bet you guys can guess what you do if we flip over the y-axis. So negative 3, positive 6. Okay, the point two four is reflected over. I'm going to draw you another picture when we do a y axis, but these we'll just do with the with the numbers. So reflected across the x axis. So what's the rule? We look at the y as it's reflecting across the x axis, and we change it to a negative. So it will be two negative four, as you can see in this picture, because the mirror is the x axis. So you're going from here to here. Okay, so you have two, negative four. Okay, again, we have another x-axis reflection, so maybe we can just do this fast. Reflecting across the x, so we flip the y, and it gives us negative five, negative three. Leave the x the same, make the y, opposite. 6, negative 1 is reflected across the x-axis, right? So across the x-axis, leave the x the same, make the y opposite. So it's 6, negative 1, it goes to 6, positive 1. Five negative four is reflected over the x-axis. What are the coordinates of the resulting point? Okay, so we take our five, negative four, and we move it over to the other side. And again, we know the rule. We take our y, because we're reflecting across the x, and we swap the sign from negative to positive. So we do five, positive 4. And you can see that this point here is 5 positive 4. Okay, reflected across the x-axis, we've got negative 2, negative 1, and we're moving up here. And you know, you guys can already tell, right, it's going to be a negative x and a positive y. So you can already tell the answer just from that, right? A is negative, negative, this is positive, positive. This is positive, negative. We clearly want this, right? But if we think through it more, right, it'll be just negative 2, comma, 1. Okay, so we're reflect reflecting across the x-axis. Change that to a 3. 4, comma, 3. Ah, here we go. We've been waiting. So we reflect across the y-axis. Don't get tricked. Children do not get tricked. So we have negative 6, negative 5. We're reflecting across the y-axis. Now let's think about what happens with the mirror, right? We're moving from this point all the way to this point. So this number the y stays the same, as you probably guessed, when you reflect across the x, the x stayed the same. When you reflect across the y, the y stays the same, and the x flips to positive 6. So it should be 6, negative 5. One negative 4 is reflected across the y-axis. What are the coordinates of the resulting point? 
So we're going to take this and we're going to move it up to here. And we are going to get 1, 4. Another way of thinking about, oh, sorry, guys, I screwed up. I, I fell into the trick that I warned you against. Reflecting across the y-axis, so we're going here, which means our y is staying the same and our x is becoming negative. So it should be negative 1, negative 4 because we're flipping across the y-axis. So negative one, negative four. The point four, two is reflected across the y-axis. What are the coordinates of the resulting point? Okay, well, y, the two stays the same, the four becomes negative. And that matches the picture, too. So we have Oh, man, that does not match the picture of children. So we're reflecting across the y-axis. And so we get negative 4, 2, right? So I'm always kind of checking my work before I hit that magic button because I'm always a little worried that I'm being tricked. Okay, so right, this y-axis, we're flipping across that. So this here, x is getting flipped. So we got the number right, it was negative four comma two, just I drew the wrong picture, right? Because negative four is to the left four and positive two is up two, so that's, that's right. So negative four comma two. Okay, and this, this one, they're just making us type it in, but it's the same idea. So it's reflected across the x-axis. So what stays the same? The x stays the same. The y changes. And if you don't, you don't necessarily have to memorize that, you can always draw the picture and ask, hey, what's staying the same? It's the x, right? The x is 2 the whole time, but negative 2 the whole time. So it should be negative 2, comma, 7. Okay, fantastic. Hope you had fun, and we'll see you next time.